There is another way to trigger animation of the dynamic of a dynamic object, which is by using effectors, and this is uh, this happens in the following way. Let's create some clones. Let's create an object and make it smaller. And by choosing the object and choosing the scale tool, and putting in put putting it as a child of the cloner. Select the cloner and push it upwards or let's push it on the X axis and add more clones now add the uh, go to bullet add the rigid body tag so if we play the animation now all the objects will fall because they are now dynamic we don't want them to immediately fall we want the trigger to be at velocity peak so what that means is that if the if the if an effector makes one clone move a little tiny bit it will trigger the animation so for that we'll have to uh, create an effector which is let's use the plane effector we're not gonna make them move so much only a tiny bit so go to parameter and change the y to 0 0.01 which makes them move zero 0.01 percent uh, of a centimeter now we want to use fields uh, to affect that movement so let's go to fields and use the spherical field and turn off color we just want to want to affect the movement go to the move tool go back and let's give ourselves more frames let's play the animation you'll see that the clones are in place now if we move them through the field they'll start falling one by one why because the uh, field uh, nudged them by this distance which is 0 0.01 centimeter which is unnoticeable and that triggered the dynamics